We were seeing around the country a lot of uh, incidents of animals that were perishing because of fires, and the, people, the firemen did not know what to do other than just pick them up, you know, and try to uh, shake them a little bit and breathe on them. And so the AVMA started a program here a couple of years ago uh, to try to get these individual kits into the hands of firemen in different sizes so that they would have, they'd be equipped for a St. Bernard, a German Shepherd, a Beagle, a Ferret, so that they would be able to administer oxygen. So we had a meeting of the Humane Society here a couple months ago and said, wouldn't that be a neat thing to get for our local fire departments? So I just sort of looked around the neighborhood and you know, people were interested in it. And these gentlemen here, they're here today, you know, they're very interested in trying to save animals if they can uh, when they're at the site of a fire. You have to be able, if you're going to give oxygen to an animal, it has to be in the situation where he's going to breathe enough of the oxygen to do him some good. So if you take a ferret and put it in a, a large cone, he's not going to get enough of the oxygen. The atmospheric air is going to filter in. So these cones fit fairly snugly around a large dog, and in smaller animals like mice, ferrets, uh, hamsters, gerbils, we put the entire head in, and they're in an area that has 15% oxygen, so if we can just squeeze their chest a little bit and get them started to breathe, uh, they're small, it takes very little oxygen, they come around real fast. A regular oxygen mask uh, that's, that we traditionally use on um, everyday people uh, is conformed to the face and mouth and chin, um, whereas a dog is different. Uh, this, this specialized equipment here uh, allows you to put it over the snout of a dog or a cat or a ferret and the um, doctor here and the staff members here uh, provided us with a very good uh, learning uh, learning program of how to properly apply it to a dog or a cat and properly how to resuscitate an animal that traditional methods that we're used to will not work on a cat some will some won't but they provided uh, better and more training for us on how to rescue a cat or a dog not gonna happen, huh? We're not ready to see it. This is a very, very good organization. I personally bought, uh, got both of my pets through this organization. It's a very wonderful organization that saves pets and uh, can get pets out to families. Uh, maybe some people that don't have children, this is part of their life that makes them their family. And um, it's a good organization, and with this program, it can, uh, us as firefighters and rescue responders, we can uh, save, help save the lives of a pet that might have been in a fire or another type of emergency that uh, maybe their life's compromised. Uh, we can help them with this specialized equipment that they're providing us. I strongly urge the rest of the fire departments to uh, get in with this this program because uh, everybody has pets and sometime, one time or another, they're going to come across an emergency where this uh, where this equipment will benefit, uh, whether it's a cat, a bird, a dog, a ferret, um, and what have you. So this uh, the rest of the fire departments just be really good for them to get into this. What I'm hoping to do is uh, get people in the community that is serviced by the specific fire department to donate uh, the cost of them for their fire department. And I'm starting with the veterinarians. They'll probably say, oh, here he comes again. But I'm starting with the veterinarians, hopefully, because we are involved with animal health and we're the ones who see the animal after it comes out of the fire. Uh, I'm hoping that they'll help along, too. We have a very active veterinary group, and I think they will. Well, since we do have 22 fire departments in Lawrence County, and we, we are attempting to get a unit in each of the fire departments, uh, we're hoping that we're going to have people step forward and give us a hand with them. Uh, we have donated the initial two to start the ball rolling. And uh, we're thinking that probably these are, we can keep the cost, I think, to less than $100 a set to go into each of the fire departments. Uh, if there's someone who would want to donate one for a specific or for any of the fire departments, uh, if they would contact us at the Lawrence County uh, Humane Society, and we're listed in the telephone book, and um, 
get on the docket, you will get credit for it, and obviously it's a tax-deductible type thing too. So any help that we can uh, get from the community obviously is going to help us out too.